we'll let you debate Insep. All right, Bobby. So what what I want to know is what is it about the factory farming humans case which causes you to judge that it would be wrong to factory farm the humans? It's not something that I can define. It's just intuitive for me. Yeah, I know you said that it's intuitive, but I'm just asking, you know, what would I have to change? What leads you to get that intuition? You couldn't change anything. Okay, well, suppose that I changed the species of the beings, right? Suppose they were no longer human. Would your intuition change that? What do you mean, if you put, like, a cow in its place? Or an alien? Is it something to do with humanity? Do you, yeah. do you have the intuition around speech? So it's human. Okay, so then, so then you yeah. can answer the question. Yeah, so then the answer would just be that it's, it's that, that they are human, right? And when you say that they're human, yeah. what do you mean by that exactly? We're going to say that they're human what? Well, what does that mean for you? How do you understand that? Well, it's like, you know, I, can't de- I can't define it. It's just intuitive. There's just some there's just some some people I recognize as humans. So it's about who you recognize to be a human, and that's that's no. your system. No. So what is it? I'm just not getting a clear answer. I mean, if if it's something that you can't define for us, then we're just not going to be able to know what you're speaking about, right? That's you know the conversation would come to stop that. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty difficult to define. <laughs> yeah, I mean, are you, wait, are you saying you actually can't tell us what it is? It's nothing to do with, you know, DNA or, like, human morphology? Or... Yeah, I can't, I can't put it into words. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, <laughs> if that's where it ends up, I mean, the problem is that we don't know what you're speaking about, so we really can't move forward. I mean, we don't know what you're... Yeah, because you don't know what a human being is, right? Well, I have an idea of what a human is. I, I would understand that in, in genetically, right? Like it's something to do with DNA. Okay. Mhm. Yeah. Well, that's great. But you don't, you don't understand it that way. Nah, not really. All right. Well, I mean, I guess that that's where we're gonna have to stop the conversation, at least on this track, because yeah, if you if you don't know what it is, and if you can't give us a definition, Listen, I can I can I can just tell you I can just tell you what I told the other guys. Um, it's because like you're trying to you're trying to take like uh, the um, the traits of uh, of what a thing is, and then you're trying to devaluate it by removing the traits or adding on traits. Yeah, that's how we do ethical reasoning. Yeah, but um, some people might not agree with that. Wait, are you just saying that you're not telling me what it is just so I can't do that, or do you genuinely? Know? No, no, that's that's not it. Because like, if you if you were to ask me like what is a human being right like I might, I might be able to come to like a thousand different definitions or different parts it's made up of or whatever but it doesn't really matter because if you take these things away right so let's say you take you start taking a thumb away and then you start taking this away you, st- you start taking that away you start taking the human beings intellect away and so on and so forth it won't change that i see a i, I see a i see a, like an intrinsic value in that human being that for me makes it uh, inviolable uh huh. But something would have to change eventually, right? Because you think no, it's permissible. No, nope, you, nope. you aren't. Well, you aren't sure about the cow case, right? So something's going to change. What do you mean something's going to change? Well, suppose we change um, the human enough, right? Imagine that we start changing you know, the way that it looks. We change uh, how it behaves. Eventually, it's just going to be a cow, right? And then you'll then you'll say you're not sure. Yeah. Okay. So something, there's something there. There's something still gonna have, there. still gonna have value for me, even even if you change the, the human being completely to a cow. Well, wait, then you're just gonna say that it actually would be wrong to kill the cow. No, it because did. it used to be, it used to be a human being. No, 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 you're not, you're not understanding. We're not talking about a hypothetical cow who used to be a human. I'm just asking about your view on killing uh, humans and killing cows, right? So you think that it's, mm. you're not sure whether it's wrong to kill the cow. But you do think that yeah. it's wrong to kill the human. Now, there must be a point yeah. between those cases where you say, oh, now I'm not sure anymore. There has to be. So you're asking me for a hypothetical between those two cases. Is that, is that what you're doing? Yeah, where's the cutoff point? Yeah, okay. Um, 
Well, um, in your hypothetical case, it could be something like, um, I don't know, that there's a, let's just say that it's the point of like when the human beings start having like a tail, then it's like okay to kill the cow. Or the human being, let's just put it like that. Wait, wait, you think that if I if I told you that I have a tail, you would think that it would be, you wouldn't be sure whether it would be wrong to kill Yeah, if you had a tail, right, then yeah. I would like completely kill you. Well, fuck. It would Bobby. be so okay, yeah. You I actually could, like, th farm you. <laughs> I'm I, could, I, could, I could like, I could like uh, inseminate, uh, inseminate you with like rape so I could like kill oh, your or whatever, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, that's kind of the reductio on your view, right? I mean, at that point, you're just, uh, you've abandoned ordinary human values. If you think okay. it would be. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, okay, so. I mean, hold on, you do know, you do know that there was like two guys trying to run this ridiculous argument on me before, right? Before you yeah, came. I heard. I don't think it's ridiculous, though. Okay. Do, why do you think it's ridiculous? I think it's ridiculous because it puts people, first of all, it's, it's, uh, one of the tactics it's, it uses is to like dominate the narrative. That's the first thing. It's forcing people to answer questions that are dumb. And if they come up with like something like a quote unquote trait, right? Uh, that is not, let's just say it's non transferable. Then they just come up with a scenario whereby there's it's like a hypothetical scenario in some weird world where like pigs can fly and uh, uh -huh. i don't know like there's like new colors that we've never heard of and where one plus one hypothetically could be five well that would be in order to that, that would no but hold on we're, we're like one plus one hypothetically could be five right in order to just can... uh make the guy look morally absurd or logically inconsistent so that the person can feel good about himself, uh, thinking that he wants a type of a uh, uh, debate. Um, I mean, you said a lot there, Bobby, but it, it just sounds like you have a problem with ethical reasoning. That's just how you do. Actually, this, if I if I mentioned the trait to you right now, that's non-transferable. Would you come up with a hypothetical example? What do you mean by non-transferable? So let's say. Let's say that my example would be something like, um, I don't know, um, how a human being looks, right? I said that's the trait. It's how a human being looks. Yeah, so suppose that we find a human who doesn't look that way, would it be permissible to kill them? Exactly. That's my point. You just, and, and let's just go further on and pigs can fly. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, are airplanes. That's, a, that's just ethical reasoning, Bobby. That's just how you do ethical reasoning. Have you never done any ethic? Have you never read like an ethics book before? But it's just dumb. Standard. It's sophistry. Okay, well you can you can just say that. I don't think you have an argument for that. Though. It's just it it's nonsensical. It doesn't it doesn't add any value to anything. Yeah, well, those are just a bunch of throwaway statements, though. You're just saying that. I don't think you have an argument for that. Okay. So, so yeah, you can be a problem on the fringes of society, but you can have a problem. What's with... much better? What's what's much oh, wait, better wait, wait is the debate. Hold on. What's much better is the debate that I had earlier that actually has something to do with the real world. I actually wanted to know how come it is that vegans don't eat like jellyfish, and but they think it's okay to eat plants. Like this is something that's tangible and to the real world. But what you guys just want to do is just do sophistry. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but that's just another throwaway statement, right? It's just ethical reasoning. Okay, fine. And you, and you don't have an argument to show that it's sophistry, or that it's incoherent, or something yeah. like that, do you? You're just saying that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I don't, I don't find that to be very persuasive. I don't think that there's anything. Your, your intellect prowess the other, is, well, wait, 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 wait second, prowess is amazing. Wait a second, Bobby. That's, okay, well, thank you for that, by the way. I appreciate it. So the other point would be that you gave this analogy where you said, oh, well, what if it's like asking me, what if one plus one equal 10? Well, the thing is, is that, that that would be incoherent, right? That would be logically incoherent. So it wouldn't be a good. Okay, whatever. Hypothetical. So, pigs can the fly. hypotheticals that we pigs give are. Pigs can fly is not logically incoherent, okay? Yeah, it is. It, the that's mathematical right. example.
but it's not it's not logically incoherent, right? Okay, but Bobby, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with saying that things can fly? Yeah, what's wrong? It's just dumb. It's meaningless. It's meaningless. Bobby, do you do you realize you do that all the time? You think to yourself, like, "Hmm, I wonder what I would do on on a day like this. What would I eat for breakfast? Would I eat this or would I eat that? Or what if they had this other kind of food? Would I eat that? We think like that all the time. We do hypothetical. Yeah, but it's related. It's related to the real world. Well, I think that this is related to the real world. It's helping this us decide. Not related to the re- this it's helping us decide to whether we want to kill cows or not. Like taking away traits from human beings until they become like some deformed animal or whatever. Or it's just dumb. Yeah, that's okay. just another throwaway statement, though. I don't think you're not. Bro, that. bro, let's let's just say I I give this up, okay? Uh, let's just say that I would have followed you down your uh, your narrative or whatever your NTT narrative. And you either made me look morally absurd or logically inconsistent, and then all your vegan friends can laugh about it and jerk off to each other, okay? Let's just say that I give up that, okay? Can I ask you some questions? Well, yeah, you can ask me some questions, but there's some things I'm going to want you to concede on, though, before we get there. Okay. Are you vegan? No, 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 no. No, I said that there's some things I'm going to want, I'm going to want some clarification on for. I want to get your position clearly on the table. So that we can all jack off, right? Like what you said. Do you, what do you what do you want? What do you want clarification well, on? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the first point is that the thing, on your view, the thing that um, makes it wrong to to factory farm humans is something that we can't understand, that you can detect, but you can't tell us what it is. Okay, so that's the first point. And then bro, the second point is, bro, bro, you won this already. I look, I look uh, morally absurd. Okay, you won this. I, whatever. Fine. Oh, oh this is, okay. This is what this is what's gonna happen. I'm, okay? I'm ju- this is what's gonna I'm happen. Off now, Bobby. No, but it's, hold it's... on, hold on. No, wait, hold on. This is what what's gonna happen. Okay. Uh, you asked me to name a trait. I'm gonna say intelligence, and you're gonna say, well, a baby. Hold hold on. A pig has more intelligence than a baby, and then I'm gonna look um, uh, logically inconsistent or morally absurd. Okay, you won. It's fine. Are you happy? Yeah, and then the other point would be that um, were you to find a human who had a cow toe, you think it would be permissible to factory farm? Or you, or you wouldn't know, right? Yeah. You would, that's the sure. other absurd part. Yeah, sure, bro. Yeah, okay. So you want to ask me some questions now? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, are you vegan? I am. Yes. Hello? Hello? Yeah, are you vegan? Yes. Why does this keep on happening? Seriously. Are you cutting out again? Or am I cutting out again? Hello? 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 Maybe just um, maybe just turn off Discord and then reconnect. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I can hear you now. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, I am vegan. You're vegan, okay. Uh, do you eat eggs? I don't. Do you think it's morally wrong to eat eggs? Um, generally speaking, yes, but not intrinsically. Okay. Um, do you eat jellyfish? I don't. Do you think it's wrong to eat, uh, plants? Plants? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's intrinsically wrong to eat plants. You don't think it's intrinsically wrong to eat eat plants? No, I don't think it's intrinsically wrong. Okay. And you don't think it's wrong to eat, uh, eggs? No, I didn't say that. I said, I don't think, I think it's generally wrong to eat eggs, but not intrinsically. Hmm. What about, like, uh, drinking milk? Yeah, the same for eggs. I think it's generally wrong, but not intrinsically. Okay. Can I ask you, why do you think it is that most vegans um, have this behavior of wanting to stay away from, uh, let's say, jellyfish uh, and not... um, not plants. Well, wait, uh, I don't know if jellyfish are sentient or not. I, I don't have a view on jellyfish. No. Okay, because you don't know if it's sentient or not. Yeah, I've never looked into that. Oh, okay. Fine. But uh, let, let's just suppose that jellyfish aren't sentient, and then we can just say, well, why are most vegans not eating jellyfish? I mean, I, I don't know there either. I guess maybe because jellyfish isn't commonly eaten, people haven't developed a taste for it. No, something like that. Mm. Uh-huh. Anything else? No, not really. All right. 
Okay, well, I think we got some good jerk off material. You don't, you don't seem to have like a contradictory uh, position. No, I don't. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, good talk, Bobby. Uh, I'm happy to uh, to uh, talk to you some other time. By the way. Yeah, nice talking to you.